Hey guys, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Alicia and today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite Dollar Tree crafting items. I've got lots of items here that we're going to want to test out. Some of these we have done previously. Some of them I've never crafted with before. So we're going to kind of play around with some of these new items. I've got like a rug here, some wood blanks that are brand new to Dollar Tree. And we're going to see which ones we love and which ones we don't love so much. So if you are ready, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I grabbed was this four by six photo frame. So this comes with a stand and you can kind of slide this out. And I thought, how cute would this be as a little shelf sitter? So my plan here is to just remove this and I'm going to do like a little watercolor background and then add some vinyl on the top. So you can cut out just a four by six piece of white cardstock or white watercolor paper. Um, do a little watercolor design, and then I'm going to add a monoline flower drawing. That is one of the Makers Gonna Learn cut files, and add that on top. Okay, so you can see here I've already cut and weeded this design. I just used an adhesive vinyl for this. It's a very, very intricate design, so I do recommend using a higher quality vinyl such as um, the StarCraft HD you can do removable, you can do the permanent adhesive, either way, it's gonna stick just fine to the picture frame. And then I just cut out a piece of white cardstock and I've got this little water kit colors right here. And I'm just gonna do a pretty watercolor pattern on the back of this and the colors of my choice. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm just going to set it to the side and then we can go ahead and apply our flower to our little piece right here. So I'm going to need to put some transfer tape over top of this. So I'm just going to take this Caesar transfer tape and put it right over top of our design. Okay, and then I'm just going to peel the backer off and apply it to our frame. Make sure you're putting the bottom to the bottom and the top at the top. It's easy to get mixed up. And then you're just going to remove your transfer tape. And then, so I'm just going to take my dried piece of watercolor art and we're just going to slide this up in here. There you go. And then you're going to be able to slide it right down inside of the holder. And then you're done. So this is the new $5 stainless steel 20 ounce travel mug from the Dollar Tree. These are one of our all time favorite crafting blanks. We have done so many different things with these you all. We have done glitter epoxy on them. We've done HTV on them, permanent vinyl. We've even etched and I've got our etching example here. Look how cute this is. This is so easy. We actually have a tutorial on the channel if you are interested in etching stainless steel, it is so easy and it looks so good and so classy. So definitely a win in our books. And we grab these every time we go to the Dollar Tree. That way we've always got them on hand because they're so cute and so versatile. So this is an addition to the crafters square craft section at the Dollar Tree. These come in circles and squares. And I think there's a couple more shapes as well, but like they're so cute. They give me farmhouse vibes. I love this little beaded detail up here. And I think that we could probably put some HTV on this and it would look pretty cute. My only concern are the gaps in between the pieces of wood, but I did use a Maker's Gonna Learn file. Let me show you all. 
I thought that this file right here would be super cute on here. So I just measured the width of the circle and then I, I adjusted my size and design space and then it fits perfectly in here. So all I'm gonna do is take a mini easy press and I'm just gonna put this on a medium heat setting. It doesn't need to be super hot to adhere to wood. It actually adheres really well. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and apply some heat to this and see if it does well over these little gaps. So I'm just gonna line that up exactly where I want it and I'm gonna kind of take my heat press and work my way down. And you're gonna be able to see how easily that HTV adheres to wood. It really goes on there so well and actually a little too well sometimes. Your carrier sheet will try to sneak away and so sometimes it can alter how your HTV adheres down to the wood. So just be really mindful whenever you're ironing that you're moving relatively quickly, but not missing anything. And just kind of make your way in like a pattern rather than just ironing all over it. Just start in a corner and kind of work your way down. If you have any places that are trying to come up, I'm just gonna take that carrier sheet and place it back over top of the HTV and then run some heat on it to make sure that everything is adhered down really well. And there you go. I mean, you can see, you can definitely see um, where it goes over the like edge of the wood, but this still looks very cute. This would make such a good gift, like a housewarming gift or something. Um, and this blank is so beautiful. I feel like there's lots of different options that you could do with a blank like this. Um, make sure to check out the Crafter Square section at your Dollar Tree. That's where we found this. And you can, you're gonna also be able to find the other shapes as well. Here is another tried and true Dollar Tree blank that we use all of the time, you all. This is so good for crafting. We use this for advent calendars. We used it for magnetic chore charts. We've used it for just simple welcome signs. I brought in one of our Christmas advent calendars. This is something we made around Christmas time last year. I mean, the options are endless, mainly because they're magnetic. You can paint them, you can apply HTV to them, you can apply adhesive vinyl to them, and they're such a good substantial size. It makes a really good door hanger. So the options really are endless with these. And not only that, the Dollar Tree three to $5 section offers a slightly bigger version of this. So this one I think is a 12 inch, and then the three to $5 section, they've got a slightly bigger one that I wanna say is 18 inches and it's such a good size and so cheap. So make sure to grab a few of these next time you all are at the Dollar Tree. Now, this is an item that I've seen at the Dollar Tree for years and years, and it's just this simple little tin white bucket. But when I see stuff like this, and even things such as like mugs and stuff like that, I immediately think teacher gift. I think put a gift card in there, put some little crinkly stuffing in there, wrap it up with cellophane, and you're good to go. But as a Cricut user, I'm gonna be able to add a little bit of personalization, and that's my favorite part of being a crafter, is being able to add in those personal touches. And so I thought, how cute would this be with a little print and the cut sticker? And now we have this file. It is a little rainbow file on the Makers Gonna Learn website. So this is um, just like a cute little rainbow and look, there's a pencil and paper clips and a ruler and then like the little dash marks for when you write. And I just added Miss Rachel or it can be whoever's name that you want. Um, and I just did a print and cut for this. We've got tons of videos on how to make print and cut car decals, stickers, things like that. Um, but all you do is just remove it from the backer and then we're gonna adhere it to our little bucket and I just love this design so much just be super careful and I have already cleaned my surface with alcohol so it's prepped and ready to go and then I'm just gonna line this up 
There we go. And you can adjust your sizing as needed if you want it smaller or bigger, anything like that. And look, this serves its purpose so well. I just think this is so cute. And it's something that they can put on their desk and keep forever. They can take it home to use it and things like that. These little buckets double as lots of for lots of different functions. And so that's why I think this makes such a cute gift and such a great craft blank. So while we're on the topic of tin buckets and gifts and things like that, I really, really love grabbing these Dollar Tree bowls slash mugs. These are so stinking cute. And I thought it might be cool just to add some like simple adhesive vinyl on this. You could totally use it as like an ice cream bowl or like your favorite cereal bowl. Personally, a little bit small for me for a cereal bowl. I like a big bowl of cereal but it would be like perfect size for ice cream. So I was thinking, let's put some adhesive vinyl on here and see how it feels, see how it sticks. Um, and honestly, I'm, I don't think that the ice cream would affect the adhesive vinyl at all in this instance, but um, we're gonna go ahead and put some on there. And then I guess time will tell if it lasts for a very long time. Like obviously whenever i apply adhesive vinyl to anything i hand wash it i never put these in the dishwasher um, so i do recommend if you put adhesive vinyl on any uh, craft blanks that you are making sure that you're washing it by hand so i just cut out this little design it says trey's ice cream bowl and i am going to apply this to the front of my ice cream bowl let me scooch it to the side make sure you are Burnishing on the back as well as the front. Okay. So once the backer is removed, we are just going to line this up. Something that's really handy whenever you're working with mugs and round Cricut blanks is using something like a burnishing tool to lay it flat. That way you've got it exactly where you need it because the handle's gonna kind of fall on this blank and I want it to stay up a little bit more so that I can center this. And so I went ahead and did that. Make sure you're measuring the area that you wanna put your blank, that you wanna put your decal, and then we will just go ahead and you can taco method it or you can just go straight in. Just make sure it is straight. Okay. And then we're just gonna burnish it down, make sure it sticks really well. And I am using Starcraft for the black. I'm not 100% sure of the red metallic vinyl that I'm using. If I had to guess, it would be Starcraft. And then we're just gonna remove the transfer. This is one of the Dollar Tree blanks that we just use like crazy. It is the LED night lights. And we love these so much because they have this solid surface that's easily customizable. So we like to add some vinyl on to the front side of it, the back side of it. This is just some simple black vinyl that we added to it, but you could easily put a little girl's name, a little boy's name. You could do like a sports theme to match their room anything like that and we really really love these because they're just so easy to whip up and you can buy a bunch and make a bunch all together so 10 out of 10 on dollar tree cricket craft blank on this one it's something that we're going to run back to time and time again this is something that we have not really gotten a lot of time to experiment with this is just a dollar tree outdoor mat um, this is the back side and then this is the front and it's kind of like that outdoor rug material. I don't love it, but you know, I thought let's try to zhuzh it up. We'll add a little saying. I'm, I think I'm gonna do high over here on the corner. So I thought I would just cut out the design out of stencil vinyl. There is a yellow stencil vinyl that has a little bit more tack that you could potentially use. Um, I haven't actually tried this, so we're gonna try this right now together. Um, I'm hoping it sticks. I kind of tested some of this vinyl on the mat and it seemed to stick before, but I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work with the paint on it. Um, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna remove my backing. Now, if you're not familiar with stencil making, we've got lots of videos on the channel that go 
over stencil making. It's super simple, you guys. And I love making stencils for things, mainly because I like to get my hands dirty and get into the paint. And then I'm just going to line this up right here on the bottom corner. Okay. Now, most of our stencil tutorials are how to put a stencil on a wood sign. That's typically what we're using it for. But I thought, why not try to use this concept on this rug as well and see what happens. And then you're just going to remove this transfer. So it's on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this transfer up here just to kind of block from any paint getting on it. I'm going to put some paper over here and then use the back of our stencil for this side. And then you can even just put a little bit there. Now you could totally go in here and use like an acrylic paint. I would not recommend a chalk paint for this, mainly because it's probably going to be going outside on a porch or something. And chalk paint is just not great for uh, long time wear. I just, I don't, I wouldn't recommend that on a rug. Um, but I would recommend doing like maybe a satin or even a gloss on this, um, just because glossy paints have latex in them. And so it's probably going to last a little bit longer. That's just my theory. Um, I also thought maybe we could try to do some flex seal on this. So let's try that first. If it fails, we'll go in with some regular paint. So this is white flex seal. It's liquid rubber in a can. And we use this on our cord doormats that we make. And we've got tons of tutorials on those. It's like one of our favorite crafts. And I'm just going to spray this in short, quick spurts. Okay, let that dry for a minute and then we'll do another coat. And so obviously you can tell that it's absorbing a lot of the paint because you can see on the stencil, it's very light white. Um, and then where the letters are, it's still a little bit gray. I'm going to do a third coat. And honestly, you could probably do like four or five, maybe even six coats, just making sure that it's drying for like five to six minutes in between the coats. Um, but I'm going to go in with this third coat and we'll see how dark it gets. Okay, and then so once that has semi-dried, you can go in with the Flex Seal Clear and add this on top of it. And that will add another protective layer. Um, that is going to be totally up to you. This paint, oops, this paint is pretty protective on its own, um, but the clear is just going to add that extra layer of protection. And then I'm just going to remove all of our little protective measures. And then you can pull up your vinyl very carefully. Okay, guys, look how cute that turned out. I mean, that's cute. That's cute. I, I thought that this was going to be a fail. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I thought it was going to be a fail, but this is really cute. So you could do lots of different designs on here. Obviously, your Cricut can only cut a certain size, but you can break your design up into segments um, or you can just do something like this. I love it. Um, let me know if you guys like this one. And if you aren't already, make sure and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss any fun crafts with Makers Gonna Learn. Um, I've still got a few more crafts for you all, so stay tuned for this video. We've got lots more fun and exciting adventures to be had. Okay, this is another new Cricut blank that we have not tried. This is a pillow from the three to five dollar section. And I thought I could probably apply some HTV on this. I could remove the pillow and then put HTV on it so I could press it while it's flat. Um, this is not a zippered pillow. It is sewn. Um, so, I mean, I could technically remove the stuffing and then put it back in and sew it back up. But you know, I got time to do all that. Now, if you want to do it, if you're an avid sewer and you're like, I can whip that up in no time, go for it. Um, but I don't want to do that. And realistically, I wouldn't do it. So I was thinking, I'm just going to try to press it while the stuffing is in it and we'll see what happens. So I went ahead and got my measurements um, for my design. 
And so this is, I think it's 16 by 16 pillow and it's a $5 pillow. It's very nice. Like it's a very soft suede fabric. Um, but I've got this cute little name design here. So this is like family names. And then we're just gonna kind of line this up. I've got my mini Cricut Mini Easy Press set on the medium heat setting. And I'm just gonna work my way down using the little mini Easy Press and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, what do we think? I'm feeling like this is really cute and it went on so well. Now I did use Caesar Easy Weed, which y'all know is tried and true for us. Caesar Easy Weed is my favorite vinyl. It weeds well, it adheres well. Um, so I do recommend using a high quality vinyl for this type of project, but like this looks good. This looks professional. I did use the mini Easy Press. I don't know that I would go in here with like a clamshell press um, or I don't know that I would even use like a bigger Cricut press, um, like a manual one, because with that mini easy press, I'm able to kind of get into all the little crevices and iron everything down. Um, so that just worked really well for me. Uh, if you guys try this one, let me know. I'm curious to see how well it does for you all. Okay. So oven mitts. These are so perfect for gifting and crafting. Um, we have done a few of these, just applying HTV to them, and it usually works really well. I'm a little curious to see how well the HTV sticks to this like quilted texture on top of it. Um, so I'm just gonna do something simple like a last name. And I went ahead and cut and weeded this out using some Makers Gonna Learn fonts. And then you can see this little hoop is right here. So I'm thinking they could hang it and then have their last name here. I don't think it would look good down there. So I'm just gonna put it here. And it's like very lumpy. So I'm hoping this goes on well. So I've got my mini easy press. I'm gonna use the medium heat setting for this one and just work my way across. My biggest worry is that the vinyl is gonna get like warped and wavy looking. So I can tell it's already not wanting to adhere where the seams are. So I'm gonna go in here again. I would say to use like a press on this, but there's seams right here and there's a seam here. So it's not gonna press it completely flat anyways. Um, so just make sure that you're applying some amount of pressure to it so it can really get down in those nooks and crannies. Um, I'll also put a disclaimer here that this is not an oven mitt that you're gonna want to use like to get your items out of the stove. This is just decorative. This is something you can hang over your kitchen um, just to be cutesy. Um, this is gonna be a no for me. I think that there's potential here and I think that there'd be more potential if this wasn't a quilted fabric. Um, you can just see like the little seam lines here and it just does not look good. Um, I don't know. I don't love this. If you all have any tips and tricks for applying HTV to something like this, let me know in the comments. Um, but I don't know. This is a miss for me. I probably wouldn't purchase this again um, to make anything. I would purchase one that didn't have this quilted fabric. If it was just smooth, I think it'd be 100% better. Uh, but I'm gonna pass on the quilted oven mitts for now. Okay, so for this craft, we're gonna be using one of these sweet little Dollar Tree wood blanks. They sell these online. I haven't actually seen these in the store yet, um, but they could potentially be at your Dollar Tree. Um, I really like these because they serve lots of different purposes. We haven't done a ton of crafts with them, but I feel like they're very versatile, mainly because it's just a simple slab of wood and you can use wood in so many different ways. Uh, all we're gonna be doing today though is making a simple towel hanger. So I found this little knob just in our spare craft supplies. And then I thought I'll just do like a his and hers type situation. So I topped out hers with some HTV 
And I'm gonna be using chalk paint for this one and I've just got some sanding, some sandpaper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down and then we're going to paint it. So once it's sanded, just make sure and wipe it off. And then I'm going to take this chalk paint and paint the entire thing. Okay, so once your paint is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and glue on our little knob. So you can use a measuring tape to get this perfectly centered, which I did and I feel like that is perfect. And I'm just gonna take some of my strongest hold glue. This is just a super glue gel. Just use whatever um, that you've got lying around. Obviously that's gonna hold for a long amount of time. Dab glue, E6000, things like that. And I'm just gonna add a little bit all the way around the bottom of this knob. Okay, and then we're just going to attach it there. All right, and then I'm just gonna take my hers and we're gonna line that up in the center. And I'm gonna take my mini easy press. I'm just gonna put this on the second heat setting. So once it's ready to go, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some heat. And HTV adheres to wood really easily, so just be careful not to let your transfer move your vinyl around. Sometimes that can happen when we're heating up HTV on wood. And you're gonna know that it's adhered when you see the HTV kind of bubbling up beneath the surface of the carrier sheet. And then you are done. Just make sure this dries, obviously, before you hang anything on it. You could also add a D-ring to the back of this. That way you can hang it up with a nail and it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is from the three to five dollar section at the Dollar Tree. It's just a 16 by 20 canvas in black. I really like that they have these in black. It kind of gives like a different effect than just a plain white canvas. But I thought, let's try to add some HTV to this. So I have cut out one of the Makers Gonna Learn single line designs that is so cute. And we're gonna try to apply it with some heat. So once this is completely weeded, I'm just gonna open my canvas and we're going to go ahead and line it up. Now, obviously Dollar Tree canvas is not gonna be the highest quality, but for the Dollar Tree, this is not too bad, especially if you're just making crafts or making some fun art. And then I'm just going to apply this here and line it up. And I also brought in the heat press mat. This is an older one, but I'm gonna slide it under here. That way I kind of have some pressure because with the canvas, it's kind of hollow on the back. You can see it's framed. Um, so I wanna have some substance behind my design. And then I've just got this on the second heat setting with the Cricut Mini Easy Press. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply pressure. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. And the HGV went onto this canvas so well. I went back and forth between using adhesive vinyl and heat transfer vinyl. And I just feel like canvas is somewhat of a textile. So it's like a fabric. So the HTV worked really well on here. And this just looks so cute, like a modern little piece of art 
all from the Dollar Tree. I mean, outside of the vinyl, this canvas cost me $3. So like you really just cannot beat this. This is probably my favorite craft that we made today. Okay, y'all, we made it to the end. We went through all 12 of these Dollar Tree Cricut blanks. Which ones blew your mind? Which ones are you gonna go purchase for yourself? I personally favorite the stainless steel tumbler. I'm really, really into these new Crafter Square items. And I wasn't really disappointed in the pillow. I thought that I was gonna be highly disappointed in this pillow and it turned out so cute. So I was very surprised by some of these. Some I thought would work and some didn't work as well as I thought they would and vice versa. So I'm really curious to see if you all have tried any of these Cricut blanks yourself from the Dollar Tree. If you have, leave a comment below. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell. That way you're notified every single time that we post a video and we will see you all in the next one. Bye.